Local 3 Sports with Tori Thorne. For the second time, the Michigan UP Veterans Hockey Club hosted the Northern Lights Hockey Night, this time facing off against a club from Minnesota, all in the name of raising money for local programs. Saturday evening in Houghton, the Michigan Upper Peninsula Veterans Hockey Club took to the ice to raise funds for a good cause. We invited the Minnesota Warriors. Uh, we've, we've seen them playing in other tournaments that we've been a part of also. So we invited them to come here for a fundraising effort, try to raise money for uh, elk, which is equipment loans for the CUNA, uh, which you'll see some, I think, some of the sled hockey. Uh, they'll, they'll do some demonstration today, I believe. And, uh, so we're raising money for that and uh, hopefully have a, a fun hockey game. Good rivalry with uh, Minnesota. Uh, good friends off the ice, but on the ice, uh, I'm sure it will it'll be a good, good battle. They are donating the proceeds of the event to Equipment Loans of the Keweenaw, which is incredibly generous and we are so incredibly thankful. The veterans group has donated to our silent auction and helped us raise funds. Um, the city of Houghton has also donated the ice time. Um, and it, so the community support we've had from both the veterans group and the city of Houghton has just been incredible. Along with vets from across the UP taking part, hundreds from the community came out to support the event at Houghton's historic D Stadium. We played uh, a Grand Rapids team down uh, here a couple years ago and a lot of support from the community. The, the stands were packed. We get the Michigan Tech pep band that comes out and uh, I mean it feels there's a lot of energy in the building you'll see uh, when the game starts. Uh, it's a lot of fun and the amount of people who come out, it's, uh, it's impressive the support we have. The D is a historical building and it is so amazing to be able to have an event like this at the birthplace of professional hockey. Um, the city and the D Arena has been incredibly generous to our group. They've um, given us a place to, to play, they've given us storage facilities, they've um, They've just supported us a thousand percent. So having it here in this building is is super important. Last year there was a huge turnout, um, and this year we're anticipating just as big a turnout. It is incredibly amazing to see the community support we have, both for our veterans and for um, charities. That our community has been just incredible at supporting. With the house rocking, the two sides took to the ice, and despite falling in a three nothing hole in the first period the Upers clawed their way back in the game. In the end, the UP veterans came out on top 8-5. to five. And while it's always fun to take home the W, for the veterans it's also a time to reconnect and enjoy one of their favorite pastimes. All the guys in the locker room, uh, you'll see the, the camaraderie of the players on both sides. I mean, uh, I know it's helped a lot of people uh, when they get out of the military where being around the guys again in the locker room and doing something competitive like this. It's, it's a lot of fun, it's a challenge. Uh, all the guys working together, it's just, uh, it, brings, it brings people together and uh, uh, great, great for uh, yeah, the camaraderie and the fun of that is, that's what I look forward to the most is seeing all the guys and playing with them again.